Hmm. That's true. Indeed. Pardon me. Yes. That's right. thinking That's right. Of course. We'll return soon. I leave Brody a castle in the Royal Guard's capable hands. Yes, Your Majesty. You can count on us. Done a fine job protecting it all these years, haven't we? We won't start slacking off just because you're not around. Excellent. And when we return, you'll be treated to a victory feast. Looking forward to it. See you soon, Your Majesty. Strong of body! Strong of heart! All right. Time to head out. Here we go. They're wrapping up their goodbyes. Yes. On to the border. Right.
What you up to? Oh! Of course. Pick a rod. Where were you thinking? Stunning performance. I'm impressed. Do you want to keep going? Pick a rod. Where were you thinking? Stunning performance. I'm impressed. Do you want to keep going? Come back soon. Divine One, we discovered this mysterious bracelet in southern Firinae. There appear to be more of them enshrined on the islands off the coast. 
We should investigate. There's an emblem inside this bracelet, all right. The presence inside is complicated, but I think I have the invocation. Lead us, emblem of rivals. Finally, we're free. I am Emblem Edelgard. Pleased to meet you. I am Emblem Dimitri. I guess that makes me Emblem Claude. Hi there. That must have been a crowded bracelet. Sorry, I should introduce myself. I'm the Divine Dragon. You're obviously not from Elios. May I ask what you're doing here? Until recently, we were the guardians of another world. It seems we were moved somehow. I get the feeling you've come to give me some sort of test. No need for that. You were able to summon us. That is enough. And your timing is excellent. We were just growing weary of each other's conversation. Speak for yourself. I thought Dimitri's stories were getting better with every telling. Yes, the sarcastic interruptions kept increasing too. Coincidence, I'm sure. You three all seem to be... really comfortable with each other. Appearances can be deceiving. Really, Edelgard? She's kidding. You can tell because her face looks exactly the same as when she's serious. <laughs> we have always been in competition. It will be refreshing to join forces. I should explain. We were all students at the Officers' Academy, but we led different houses. That's what you meant by competition. Yes. We only truly came together for special events, like the Battle of the Eagle and Lion. A traditional mock battle between the houses, to celebrate one another's strengths. The real celebration was afterward. Our festivities got rather exuberant that night. Dimitri looks pretty straight-laced, but don't let him fool you. Between you and me, he's like a force of destruction at a party. I'm surprised they didn't expel his whole house for those shenanigans. <laughs> Must have been quite a night. You only just met him, so you can't tell if he's joking. Just ignore half of everything he says. Come on, be fair. At least a third of what I say is worth hearing. You do know a third is less than half, right? Let me say it formally. Our power is at your disposal. Please make the most of it. Victory will be ours. Have no fear. We are here to help. And if these two and their conventional tactics fail, maybe I'll show you a few tricks. That's all very reassuring. Thank you. I'll do my best to help the three of you work together. I'll be your opponent. Hi there! 
You can call me Lady Anna. This ends now. My loss, but your gain. Somehow I won. Hi there. I'm Jean, a doctor in training. Shall we have a cup of tea afterward? It's been an honor sparring with you. It's me, the Brodian Prince who isn't Diamant. My loss, but your gain. Let's have a good match. I am Edelgard, princess of the Adrestian Empire. You're as strong as I expected. Hey, Claude. I've heard you're called the Master Tactician. I'd love to get some pointers. Wow, so serious right off the bat. Okay. Set your sword aside for a bit. We'll walk and talk. I won't go easy on you, just because we're allies. I am Marth. Show me what you can do. I can learn much from your strength. It's an honor to fight beside such a mighty hero. I'm glad to have you with us, Marth. I feel the same way, Diamant. Let us stand together in the name of peace. I am Diamant, Crown Prince of Brodia. I am Roy. I'm looking forward to this. Well fought. I must train my skills. Thank you for sparring with me. Your ring was entrusted to my kingdom, Roy. So Brodia will be relying on your power. I hope this day would come. Leave it to me. Together we'll bring peace to your kingdom.
I am Vander, 32nd Steward of the Dragon. My name is Dimitri. Shall we spar? Seems I still have training to do. Shall we say, with age comes wisdom. Lady Edelgard, I wanted to thank you again for lending the Divine Dragon your strength. Please, there's no need to be so formal. We're allies, are we not? You look tough! I'd better be careful! I am Leaf. I intend to win this contest. Nope. Time to finish the job. I must become stronger. Hey! I actually won! You know, Leaf, I get the feeling you've been through some tough stuff. I respect that. The feeling is mutual, Yunaka. I admire your fighting spirit. Zappy morning, Divine One! Not gonna make this easy, huh? Okay, let's get serious. Time to break out my rooster impression! Ah, 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 ah! Hi. <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. Of course there aren't any roosters in here. Maybe you dreamed it?
making this extra special for you, Divine One. Okay, so I add this, then I do that. Now it should... Ah! It worked! It actually worked! May I? Sure. This lunch is for you. Here you go. Good morning, Alfred. Good morning, Celine. Training hard again, I see. Though normally I don't find you using a shovel. That's a deep hole you've dug, too. Won't this be hazardous for the others? <laughs> oh, Celine, this isn't training. And if anything, I need to dig deeper. <laughs> What in the world is the purpose of this? I overheard the kitchen staff this morning complaining that there wasn't enough water. So I'm digging a well for them. Pardon? Alfred, if the water supply is low, there's a river nearby we can fetch more from. What possessed you to decide that the solution to the problem was to dig a well? Hey, you're right. That's using your noggin. I'd better find a jug and leg it to the river. Thanks for the tip, Saline. <sighs> You haven't changed one bit, it seems. Better that you should dress in pelts and furs to warn people of your barbaric mindset. Ooh, look what I found. It's an Alfred. <laughs> Fancy meeting one of those in a place like this. Hey, Yunaka. You, uh, settling in okay? Totally. Everyone's been a tasty treat. If anything, the welcome's been almost a little too warm, you know? I'm an unknown quantity. I could be anybody. What if I was a somebody? Who would know? It's weirdly convenient no one's been checking on me to try to find out. Oh, should I be snooping more? Seems like a logical course of action, that's all I'm saying. Well, I do want to get to know you better. So, yeah, we should talk more. When we get the time. Talk? Is that your idea of gathering intel? Are you really gonna go that easy on me? Think about it, chum. I could be an enemy spy. Eh, probably not, though. I trust you. Forsooth, silly lad. Whence comes this unearned confidence? Have you never once been betrayed, swindled, double-crossed, bamboozled? <laughs> eh, I get that question a lot. Gets that question a lot, he says. Not a bit of self-awareness on this guy. I don't get you, Alfred, but maybe I shouldn't look this gift knife in the serrated bevel. If you trust me, I appreciate it. Thanks. Anytime, Yunaka. My goodness, is my face so funny that you'd laugh as soon as you see it? Forgive me, Chloe, though I wasn't laughing at you. Rather, it was the memory of the first time we met that has me so amused. Oh yes, how could I forget? My first encounter with the princess. You were at the harbor with your face scrunched up in tears. It was adorable. I wouldn't say I was in tears. The ship I meant to board couldn't set sail and I was grasping at straws. That's all. Which is when I made my entrance. I told you if there was some place you wanted to go, I could give you a ride on my Pegasus. And off we went to the tea farm. I'd snuck out of the castle incognito before, but this was something altogether different. I'd never ridden a Pegasus. I can remember my excitement like it was yesterday. The first of many grand adventures. That day is burned into my memory forever. When they told me you were the princess, I nearly keeled over with shock. 
I mean, how many people make friends with a girl who turns out to be royalty? <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope it wasn't too hard on your nerves. Oh, it was an honor. Like I was living a real fairy tale. You might say I started a new life that day. Indeed. You must elaborate. Oh, I'd be happy to. But not today. No? I have the time if that's your concern. <laughs> oh, Princess Celine, the best fairy tales leave the audience wanting more. I must thank you, Jean. Princess Celine, what are you thanking me for? The tea produced in your hometown is far and away my favorite. There is joy in each and every sip, so I thought it appropriate to thank you. Ah, in that case, I should thank you too. My mother will be over the moon to find out you like it so much. Your mother? She works at a tea shop back home. You've probably had tea brewed from leaves that my mother processed. I see. Do pass on my thanks then. I will. Praise from your highness would be the pride of a lifetime for my mother. Would you like to join me for tea sometime? We can brew some tea leaves from your home and drink to your mother's health. Oh, I've done nothing to deserve such an invitation, but I'm grateful anyway. I'll be looking forward to it. As shall I. You'll be hearing from me. mission is taking so much longer than I thought. By the time I'm done, it'll be too late. What's the rush, Chloe? Oh, do you have a hot date tonight? Nope, there's this folk food stall I was hoping to visit. A folk food stall? Yeah, I have a thing for local foods made with unusual ingredients. But the shops that sold them were already rare, and the war has made them almost non-existent. I heard there was a food stall opening today, so I was hoping to check it out. If it's that important to you, I can go in your place. I'll be your personal shopper. You do that for me? Sure. I'm not so busy that I can't make a slight detour on the errands I was running anyway. Whoa, thanks. I think I'll take you up on that. So, what can I get for you? It's roasted snake meat between two buns. They call it a snake sandwich. L why would anyone... Folk food is always tied to local traditions. Eating it is like taking a bite of history. That's what makes it so great. Oh. Huh. I think that makes sense. From a certain point of view. Anyway, I'll be back in two shakes with your sandwich of snakes. Here's some money. Buy one for yourself, too, so we can eat them together. My sister thought me reckless for bolting into battle for the sake of my friends. What say you? Hmm, my sister's always calling me a barbarian for the same reason. A good jog puts it behind me. Today's tea smells captivating. Where is it from? A farming village known for its single-origin tea. It's a favorite of mine, so I'm pleased you like it. <laughs> 